कैन यू टेल मी व्हाई मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस नॉट सपोर्टेड इन जावा मल्टीपल नॉट सपोर्टेड बट यू कैन अचीव थ्रू द इंटरफेस लॉजिक इफ यू आर यू कैन नॉट एक्सटेंड्स मल्टीपल कैन एक्सटेंड ओनली वन राइट इन इन द पेरेंट चाइल्ड कांसेप्ट बट यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट मोर इफ यू आर एक्सटेंडिंग द पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड कांसेप्ट यू कैन ओनली एक्सटेंड ओनली वन चाइल्ड सो फॉर द What is binary tree? Binary tree, where the node concept is happening basically for storing the element in tree manner, where node and leaves is there. One node has, should have maximum two leaves. Left side should be lower than the parent node, and right side will be greater than the parent node. This concept is there in binary tree. So basically, for the storing the element, and it is used in hash map in Java. So can you tell me any intermediate method while using stream? Name a few. Filter map, flat maps. These are the basic ones that you use for all the intermediate operations. Can you tell me the flow of Spring MVC? Ah uh, yes. Uh, so Spring MVC model model view controller. The first one, the first thing what will have, it will do like so whenever you are doing like uh, hitting any request from the UI like when you are doing any submit button you are clicking that particular action will be come to the uh, dispatcher server right, which is a uh, uh, front controller. So that will be the first thing what it will do. Uh, the after that one what we will do like it will it will search for that particular aspect to controller that particular dispatcher server right, will uh, search for that particular controller. After that uh, particular controller we will define uh, the logic. Uh, logic, whatever the business logic, the service layer. So yeah. in the service layer, we can define that particular business logic. So that one we will put it in the model object. That uh, that particular model object can be able to access to the both uh, service layer as well as the uh, view. View means in the uh, like a uh, front end. So uh, that will be like a, a view in the sense HTML. So that particular uh, model will be available to the, that particular view. So whatever the results will be displayed on that on that on that that particular view. Uh, like a sort and uh, that particular model that will be get displayed under to the view. So this is the entire uh, architecture, MVC architecture. Okay. So in Java, can you tell me what is synchronized keyword? Synchronized keyword. Uh, to avoid that deadlock situation, we use that asynchronous keyword when okay. you are using the threads, right? So to uh, like we will uh, we will put that particular piece of code, whichever is. Uh, that particular piece of code in a synchronized uh, uh, keyword with that particular thing, though, so that uh, it will avoid that particular deadlock situation. Okay. Why string is immutable? String is immutable, right? It is immutable yes. to increase the performance. To increase the performance yes. of application, so you don't need to create multiple objects. There will be no uh, multiple objects if we are using multiple strings. Okay. So I have a string, and you need to count the occurrence of every given character in that. you need to just tell me the logic how do you do that okay so you are saying that you will be having the input as a string like if i am taking the string and you want me to count the number of characters in that string yeah okay so simple uh, if this is your string as a input then convert this string into the two character array that will be providing you the the, the array of characters into mm -hmm. that and then you can find the size of that character uh, that array string to character array conversion Which class contains clone method in Java? Marker interface contains the clone method, na? No? Which which one? Marker interface. But marker interface is an interface which doesn't have any method. Okay, clone method. I think okay. Let me think, rethink. I don't remember actually. Ah, uh, clone method is an ob. I think it should it should be an object class. Sorry, it's an object main class. What is the advantage of working with? Spring over EJB. EJB is the concept is coming like old concept is there before like when you are going to MDB you are going to message you are mean you are going to the using at that time so EJB is providing the facility Java to Java communication. So there is EJB two EJB three is coming through entity bin but like what I mean a Spring is totally different EJB is supporting Java to Java programming there is not a distributed application is there they are going to the use that so that's why is a REST is coming so REST is coming so REST is providing the support to the multiple like a distributed system they are going to the uh, use for that so there is a difference uh, REST and uh, EJB and uh, a Spring is a totally different like a before like a, uh, if you ask like a starts but a Spring is provide to the facility no need to create again and again the object. You are going to write the some like a class A, class B, and class C. And class C, you are going to pass the reference of the class A and class B. When class C is going to the loaded, means like a, some XML file you are going to define some ID like a class C and class fully qualified name you are going to define. So at that time, what happened? Like when class C is loaded, at that time A, B, both is going to the loaded. No need to extra effort. That object is there. When you need it, you can use that object. No need to create that object. So that facility there, and a string is providing the multiple facility, multiple integration is there. 
also like a you know, some, something like a um, uh, messaging related some uh, scheduler related uh, and a, some uh, um, uh, a core a, aop like a, some uh, aspect oriented programming so multiple things they are going to provide you are going to categorize your code you are when you are going to write the code so you have security code you are going to separate you are going to write your logging code you are going to separate you are going to write. so multiple facility a spring is providing over the another framework that's why uh, a spring is more feasible for the developer okay what are the advantages of using triggers in mysql triggers means like a multiple things is happen uh, when you are going to uh, database you are going to use the trigger means some operation if you want to do before some, some task is there and that thing we are going to trigger that so you need to create the trigger you are going to write I mean, some uh, ddl operation if you want to do that say, like a create the trigger or like a uh, your a table name or like a, if you want to drop the table alter the table so some uh, uh, trigger you need to uh, write on that that uh, if i auto wire prototype bean in a singleton bean how many instances of prototype bean would be created whenever the singleton bean is called by using application context prototype is a dependency of singleton right then uh, only one bin always will get written of prototype even if we mark that as a prototype okay. do you find any advantages of using uh, my bit yes because in what i am not known uh, much knowledge i have net but in my bit is what i have seen means i am able to using i am able to get the uh, results from the database using the criteria example those things then way through my bit is we can directly create a directly interact with a sql statement so other things java object with the table objects we will do but here in my bit is it's a it's like a precision layer which in from the, using the java method we we will coupling here we are coupling java method with the sql statement or the stored procedures criteria those examples are uh, very much useful for us because we need not write a query as well if you have a predefined table we can generate a you can generate a dom file and the dow file in dow file uh, using a my byte is generator we can generate a dow dow file using that dow file we can uh, using that uh, example or criteria those things those those object we can easily get the data from the database here my byte is where automate uh, database uh, connections are taken care what are the static initializers in java and when would you use them yeah a static initializer is we can store the use static block and and uh, we can use static initializer yeah just me forget yeah. a static a static initializer is like a static block and i have forget them right now okay no problem like suppose you you have a class which is which is throwing file not found exception now okay. you have a subclass and subclass method is throwing uh, io exception what is the is that even possible can run or not and if not then why first class is uh, which exception first class is throwing file not found exception. file not find okay file not found and io exception okay it is it is working fine both are compiled time exception is working 